Another effect that we had when we played live was um, the, uh, we call them the fountain lights, you know, that are uh, fountains of light, has some fountains on it, and, and we, and the road crew actually put in these little green of wheat lights. They didn't have LEDs in those days, but they were these little green of wheat lights, and they wove them throughout the grill cloth on all the amplifiers. And so at a certain point in the show, the lights would all come down, and it would look like all the amplifiers just came alive as a fountain with all these chase lights going like this multicolored. They hand painted all these things in different colors. Uh, it was really a very elaborate um, effect and worked out great. And I got to hand it to the road crew. Um, you know, there were some great guys on that crew. The, uh, I just want to mention we had Jim Smith on lights. We had Al Ringham that helped on our, our crew. Um, and uh, John Ristoff was a sound man for a long time. Uh, we had Dave Berman for a while who helped, and there were a few other people. Uh, I just want to say uh, those guys uh, really were integral in making Star Castle what it was. Without them, we couldn't have done it.